Good morning everyone! Oh my god, this is so exciting! Look what I'm doing! For the first time in my life I'm doing a latch hook and this um, design I will show you in a minute it came from, we did uh, unboxing recently with you from God, good, good feel. I don't know. Doesn't I don't understand the name of this company, but it's a G U D F E L. So here is the bunny. Remember, we have a bunny and we have a minion. So bunny has lots of more colors than minion, and I decided to start with this one. So maybe later if Catherine want to try latch hook as well, she can work on a minion. It would be much easier for her to do. And this is basically like a counted cross stitching. I know that uh, years ago you could purchase this kind of pattern with the um, fabric that it's already um, printed on it and you just follow colors. But to be honest, it's so easy to do on a counter. You just make sure to follow this grid so you don't mistake which line number three I screwed up totally because I missed few lines of colors and my all row went in the wrong direction. But if it's happened like this, don't tear apart the whole thing because some of the threads will be stay on the right position uh, you just have to go slowly count your pattern which I have a pattern in here and whatever I work I have you see I, I use this big marker that I purchased from Walmart I think Walmart I like this kind of neon color so I have two colors of them so I just mark it out with the yellow which is I don't like to like override with um, and, and sorry for the shadow I'm keeping a light right now because it's dark but uh, when we will work I will try to take you maybe after a light so we can see better without shadow but just for now mm. so yes I work by the lines and thank you to my viewers many of you give me a recommendation what should I do because when I did unboxing, obviously this is something new for me and I did not know how to do it. I watch people doing it, but uh, kind of when you didn't see this kind of craft for a long time, you forgetting, you know, especially when you don't know what you're doing at all. So I ask you in my unboxing video to please give me some recommendation and tips. Where should I start from which corner? And here is all the colors that we have in here. And from my first, um, what I have already, that's the colors that I'm working right now with. Uh, white, it's getting skinny. I'm almost done because this is the most color of white we have on this design. Um, yeah, so I work, like I'm showing you right now this one. Look how beautiful that look like. But if I work, I turn this towards me, and this is my left bottom corner. So if you are a beginner and you never done this before, I will give you some tips right now because I feel like professional right now. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I'm still learning as well. So, but I figure out for myself, yes, because I am right-handed. So for me, make a sense to start from the left bottom corner and go to the right. So I don't have anything on my way while I'm working. Also, you can do it, or I can do it, and I was thinking if I should do it, to go by the section, I can go to the from left to the right, but also from the bottom to the top, but from the left to the right, even go this way kind of sections, right? Uh, or this way, you maybe you can pick some. I even try a little bit to do by like cross country, because after I make mistake, I 
grab my red threads and I kind of create a pattern a little bit more higher to complete. This is kind of like a little flowers in here, which is um, this kind of two designs that's for this. Uh, if I can show you on um, in here on a picture, I think I think that's what it is. This uh, two little flowers in here. I think that's what I was doing. So if you are left-handed, for you it would be probably make a sense to start from right bottom color uh, corner and go to your left side. And same thing you could do up and down as well. Uh, the way I started my bottom, originally I wanted to start from the top of my canvas and go this way, but still kind of like. I would have to turn away from me and start from here and I would start to count from this corner I mean from this corner and go down I don't know why I wanted to do upside down but when I count my grids in here very top row uh, I can see in here but in here one line kind of like over stitch and I cannot get into it. So I decided, okay, since this is kind of a little bit, well, it's even, but one side is hiding the top row. It's kind of stitched under this, um, underneath. So when I turn towards me bottom corner and the way I did the zipper flap closing down. So it's mean if I flip on the other side like this, right? This is my top of the pillow and this is the bottom. So the flap over, lap and down. So that's why I determine where should I start my uh, bottom. This way or this way, obviously, make a sense to start this way. So now I'm just gonna fold that. Uh, what else I can tell you? <clears throat> yeah, you can try by cross country for example I have in here I can show you from far uh, because there's a lots of white color in here I can just go with the greens kind of uh, reds kind of connect them together and then just fill in with white color uh, but if you don't want to have a mistake just go slow and work row by row and just mark it over with the marker or pen whatever you like to do so this is how i do for me um by the way uh this hook is really good i don't know somebody says i might have to buy a new one because this one looks strange um i don't know how the real thing supposed to look and i think i have in my stash in my wooden treasure box i think i have a latch hook like this from my mother-in-law's mother even because my mother-in-law was a creative person but look what I put I put grippy from my diamond painting I put from this side and because in here is a little bit thicker if it perfectly it's not sliding and it's really comfortable to hold so that's what I'm using it uh, now how I do uh, let me zoom a little bit close just okay I will readjust camera a little bit later but uh, if I put my pattern in here um, I know it's still you. okay so now I'm done to my first grid in here okay I will go over one so uh, the grid the one that it's black it's my last row in here that I done on it so now I will go over my grid, it will start my new line. So I have two white color. Okay, I want you to see at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna put my phone on the top. Oh yeah, look at, look at my phone, I love my cover. Okay, so anyway. So I have in here two white, and I will put two white of string in here. Then one bright green, we're just going to connect. So I'm kind of like, I'm preparing myself 
for that row. Then I count white. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if you don't want to mistake where you are, at the same time you count and you can mark it up that spot right away. Obviously this light marker doesn't work on a dark spot, but that's okay. Just if I can see them on a white paper, that's good enough for me. So next one, <clears throat> I need two dark green. And I will prepare like this for the whole canvas, I mean for the whole line. So that way, when I chit chat with you, nothing will disturb me and I will not make any mistake only I need to count now or even I don't have to count this big line of white I can pick it up later and determine where I need to be so this is my uh, this box this is the box I could put literally just two white on this side and I know that is it starts from here to here so I can just visually see where but we will count right now so we, we need uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we need 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 you just have to make sure then count wrong number because then you can put 10 or 8 if you didn't count perfectly 9 it's okay to even double time count just to make sure you are in the right direction we have a 2 dark and then we have again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 white so we have a 3 4, 5 six seven and I will mark them then three bright green this is fun I'm telling you I'm so addictive now now I feel like I should get some more of this design so I need a two white in here two bright green to bright green and I just gonna put this one on the end in here but I need them more we will start new package of white but for now I have a good enough field in here so now I don't need this pattern see now I can put this away so it's not on my way uh, I will keep it like close in here to me so just I can like when I finish to the grid just double check if I didn't overlap with wrong color just check if it's everything is good and we can start so now I need to readjust camera and I like the way this threads and this little packages like this they all hold together nicely so now I will try to close this light I don't think I need this light and if I zoom you close to me, you will see very well. We just need to find a way. And I will show you how I work. Okay, how much we can zoom? I think it's pretty good. Okay, just like that maybe it would be all right. So you can see my hook and how I work. Okay, so I will keep my pattern here close to me just to make sure I don't make any mistakes. So what you do if you never done before, you grab your thread, fold perfectly in half. We create a little hoop in here. Now we start from the bottom, left side, Put your tool through, put your thread on a hook, pull it up, then 
overlap but you have to make sure this little metal piece go all the way like that see so it's so it's closing you grab your threads again like you overlap them and you pull now white threads a little bit more fluffier than the other colors so to help me pull I do a little bit like with my nails in here just to get them and just pull it and then each row after I got after two I pull it tight sometimes I pull even one and another separately so tight in here strong knot maybe I need to get a little bit more to the center and I hope you see what I'm doing and then we go and that's because we're going from here to here this um, layer nicely down so you can see uh, very well where to go uh, and we go again hook this up pull a little bit flip it again all the way so it's closure coming out okay wrapped around when you pull it this little latch closing and pull it through and just tight with your hands so you don't lose your threads later and it's lots of fun now some people will con was uh, concerned that back in in here stitched already to the smash to be honestly it's not on a way at all because it doesn't matter you still will be keeping a, your um, thing like a flat on a table it doesn't matter so it, it doesn't bother me the fabric underneath at all so I, I say that is um, it's it's perfect it's already ready pillow for you to work on it just the first row it's kind of a little bit tricky because you have to make sure you count properly make sure um, all this lines start where you need on the bottom of this cushion because you know if it's over stitch or not make sure you count make sure you have a 10 count in here how to start your pattern properly but after you do your first row after you calculate everything you need it's pretty much by the third row I was flying already I was doing it so much faster I just don't know if I will need later like trim a little bit or this pattern will show up nicely. Um, I measure this uh, threads and I will show you right now how long they are if you want to do some from scratch maybe. They are six I think centimeters. No five and a half. Is this someone was longer? No, five and a half centimeters each one so if you can find this kind of mesh somewhere in a store then you can turn any cross stitch to the latch hook just I was trying to do a gentle pull not too hard because white threads is thicker so I don't want to pull too hard and yank it out my hook from here I don't know how strong but so far it stays strong in here plus I don't want to break any of these threads but this mesh is pretty much strong it's a strong material you kind of watching upside down but I hope you you see very well what I'm doing and not closing with my fingers okay just make sure those threads pretty much straight sometimes if I pull it's not straight I just grab a shorter edge and just pull it to tighten up my knot okay we are coming 
to the end of count of 10 of them, our first square. See the green one go much more easy with this tool. White, I feel like threads more fluffier or thicker maybe. Because green one and yeah, kind of pull easy. And one white. So to make sure you're doing the right pattern and not mistaken, after you finish one square, just make sure check that your last square by your grid, it's a white color, and I have in here white color, so I know that my start gonna be start again from white and two green and then all the way to the edge of the other grid will be white. <clears throat> okay, maybe I can do the folding after camera. I don't know if you want me to fold this. Okay. And the camera. Now, be because of this... Um, grid will be everything is covered with the thread so obviously you cannot see nothing but do you wash this later because remember we have some um, this kind of ink from folding went on the back of the fabric a little bit so if I wash I think that, that would be okay well I, I guess when you're using a pillow you have to wash it later on but I'm just afraid. Hopefully this thread's not gonna start fading the colors or something. That would be horrible. So I have to admit that I tried last night for the first time and I love it. Well, I told you that I will take this one with me to campground but we stay only one night. It was weather not so greatest, and the next day is supposed to be heavy rain, and we decided, well, can't swim, can't do nothing. Okay, I will get you a little bit more further now because you can see what I'm doing. So it will be maybe better from further. So yeah, we come back home next day, which was Saturday. The shortest camping ever and was that night was heavy heavy rain so we didn't mind to get home sooner because I took lodge hook with me to the campground and I told you I will try it for the first time but basically didn't have a time to do that because we came home so fast so I started last night and oh my god last night it was kabooms. It was so heavy thunder, bane, and electricity went off a few times. And I just, in some point, computer shut down, but electricity went back. And the weirdest thing ever, computer flicked to the black. But my video, whatever I was watching, still playing and talking. And then a few minutes later, it just went like load and load and load and internet was disconnected. So yeah, I just decided, okay, let me just turn it off my computer just for in case if lightning hits so hard, I don't want to be electrocuted or something because I was having a headset on my ears and I heard the story that, you know, it could get you through through the through the electricity and harm you if you were in a headphone. So I just like I want to be safe. You know the story: the lightning burned down school in my village right before kids have to go to school. They still fixing it. So see how good you put all this layer in front of you, all the threads. And then you can tuck and everything, you don't have to count anymore. You just pick up 
whatever is lined up in your row and I find this is faster instead of looking at all the time on a pattern and do it one by one just make sure you count first time properly so you don't mistake and not to do the wrong pattern and if you make a one or two wrong but next row do the proper way I don't think it would be very visible because there's so much colors in here I'm thinking like you know if you would have one brown color in here mixed with each other I don't think it would make a matter it would still look beautiful so don't sweat and by the way if you are put something in a wrong position let me get the green color because white one a little bit thicker I will show you example on something else okay let me just put this green and I will tie it up and I just want to check with my pattern if I'm right so I have two white over this grid and one green two white over two two green okay so it would be two green because this one would be green but what I want to show you uh, for example you're doing it and you realize you did wrong color so what I do I just pull out with my hook this knot that I just created and I just pull it like this to take it off it's very easy to fix it if you did the wrong color okay even tight a little bit more stronger and just with your hook grab this knot from the top Sometimes you can catch the other threads of this particular, but that's okay. You, you can just help yourself in here a little bit with your finger. One piece and the rest of it will come out very easy. So the, this is just a little tip that I figured out for myself yesterday because I created the whole row number three wrong because I miscalculate because I was so cocky that I'm doing so great and the internet and light was flicking and I thought okay I should just shut down and everything go to sleep but no let me do one more row and that one row I made totally wrong and then I have to sit down and tear apart so that's how you fix them and of course from this side we don't see much of the beauty but if we look from my point of view, look how fluffy they're gonna look. Looks so fun, looks so fun. I cannot wait to actually create this, the whole bunny thing. So now I know for sure that I have to go white to the end in here and then gonna be over later. So we will continue. This is fun. I think if uh, there, there's so many different designs in this store where I got this large hook so many beautiful cushions like this I think if you never try definitely I would recommend this is so refreshing you know after diamond painting and cross stitch something new and exciting and I have to say that in my young age, I did lots of crochet and lots of knitting. So I kind of liked already to work with this kind of tools. Well, without closure, of course, just like a regular hoop to crochet. But um, th this is fun. And also what I wanted to try, it's a, how do you call it? A t tumble, tumble needle? The one that you go through the sheer fabric and place in the beads and sequins. I ordered that one from AliExpress. That does uh, 
holder but what was in the description supposed to be two needles come with it and that was the point of me to order that and it came just a wooden stick a holder and a beautiful packaging and everything but with no needle so it's a useless for me because I can't do it without needle that was the point of the needle so you poke it and doing your uh, sequence and bead stitch and so I was really disappointed and I just like did not order any more of that so I'm still thinking I should try and see okay so I went to the end and I have one thread left so I'm just gonna check right now with my pattern oh no 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 hold on yeah yeah I need it one over then it's gonna be three green yeah I'm doing a good so just time from time I just look in my pattern to just make sure I'm doing the right thing I like to hold the threads in here uh, my uh, mesh and just toggle not so much so I don't disturb or then Mm, I don't know what they secure with kind of like a glue because it's all stick together. I'm not sure what this mesh is made of. But strong material. I have to say it's strong. The way I'm pulling it, it doesn't get any bad. See the green one coming out easy and all the other colors. White, I need to a little bit pull harder. So far I have four colors in use. As you can tell, no browns yet. In my video unboxing, when I try to put this uh, first my thread on the minion, I thought my god these threads are so short and I have to hoop through them twice loop how is possible but you know what since you try first throw it's like so easy and it's just a perfect link I think if too short it would be too hard to, to work and if this would be a little bit longer it probably would be too fluffy sticking out and would be hard to see design. I would say if you want a fluffy rug, you can create this uh, threads longer than five and a half centimeters to create fluffy rug. If it's not very many colors design, it could be like even one color. Uh, but to see the perfect picture of bun and a bird up there, I think uh, it's just a perfect link in here. I don't think shorter necessary. Just keep pulling. We don't want this undone. Wow, I love it. I love this craft. I'm totally addictive now. It's so much fun. So I have in here my one thread left so I have to dig in my bag and get it more and they are all on the bottom up there Let's see what kind of colors we still have here to use okay so I'm gonna pull out one more of white look forward to start using look there's beautiful blues in here mm, you can look my unboxing of course there's a uh, three or two colors in this one brown I think I think there's some color different in here no this one looks the same Okay, they are different. So this one is different. This way you can see kind of better. And exciting color is here. Look at this. Oh, love it. 
Love it, love it. So now I need just a white for now because my next color will appear all just right in here, kind of blue start on the fourth row, I think. So now we're going to count again our threads because I need to continue. So I need, actually, I'm not going to even count right now. I know that I need to finish this too. And then I notice that I need to finish the whole row. So right now I'm not going to even count. I just going to stop when I get to this point and then count how many need more. Just going to pull a bunch. Or sometimes I can even do, you know, I know that one my row is full in here. And on this side I have one, two, three, four. So what I can do to measure and not overdo while I'm talking to you, I can go to here and then one, two, three, four. This would be my edge. Oh, would be good to be on camera, right? I know that this is, would be my edge. I make my edge and then I know that from here to here I need to create all in white so that way I don't mistake on colors so what do you think so far now please comment uh, how many of you did this well i remember some of you from unboxing video who said you did many of them now how many of you would like to try this craft i think you will like it if you like crochet all that stuff i think this is kind of like a similarity somehow you will like it Looking forward to start the bunny. And to do bunny, I think I will do like maybe patches like this to kind of mark and then overdo because some of these patches in here are like very, very long. See, there are lots of patches. So it looks complicated pattern to begin with, but when you look, closely it's not bad at all I thought it would be very difficult to follow, follow pattern thank goodness the pattern itself printed with the big squares not like those cross stitches you know that we no brands review I'm glad that this pattern is normal size so we actually can count that's a big bonus. I'm still waiting to hear when they will get new pillows. You know those pillows, there was cross stitch pillows that was stitched to the back of the fabric like this one. Because this is large hook, we still be working only from the face of our pattern. We don't have to stitch all the way through. So this is easy, but cross stitch, we cannot do this. So I'm just waiting when they will um, create new one with the zippers around so you can open those flaps and you can cross stitch freely. And um, the store tell me, they will let me know when it's available so I can order and do new video review for you and see how that will look like. So I'm excited. The way they told me this will work, uh, it should, it should be awesome because they will do 
three zippers on each side of the pillow. First of all, it will be easier to put your pillow inside as well, much better. Which it's not bad even now. Uh, by the way, when you're watching this video, I have yesterday one more video on my Detecting Beauty channel. If you are interested, I was doing or trying for the first time rock tumbler, tumbling my rocks from the lake. It's 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 going, even with all those thunderstorm I thought I will be shut off my machine in the middle of the night but no it's still running smoothly I can hear it from here that my machine is running but it's not really disturbing it sounds like something boiling on the stove <laughs> so sometimes I have like a double check and listen if I didn't left anything in the stove one kind of have to use this so if you want to check that video check it out and then they say three, five days to tumble first thing and then I will check and create new videos, see how they're gonna look like. Okay, now we have a little bit left to the edge and my camera already flashing battery. So now I need one light green and just for in case my camera shut down on me right now. I want to say thank you. I'm not going to restart now video again. You got the point how we're doing it for the first time. I will do actually unboxing right now. I received yesterday package. Uh, so it's going to be cross stitch review. So for those who like cross stitch, check it out. Video tomorrow. Uh oh. Uh oh. See? That's what I'm saying, not paying attention because I'm chatting right now. This is supposed to be white. So we're gonna pull this out. And I better count before I make a mess. So I need a green. Now it's like all white, just a two on the end green. So I'm going to do one on the end. Another on the end green. And then I will fill the rest of with white so that's kind of like an easy shortcut have to count there and now all this I will finish with white color all right my friends my battery is dying but I hope you had fun creating this with me for the first time and it looks fantastic it looks fantastic there look at this what we created it's getting something it start to look like something branches with some flowers have a good day everyone and i will see you tomorrow this is definitely fun i will work on it probably all day